So it's always a sequence of you put the face on first, and then you slide that on like that, and then bang zoom, you're ready for your nut. Yes, years and years of practice, but I used to be able to do this with ball bearings. Ball bearing wheels in my sleep. Ball bearings are an art. And they're actually faster than sealed bearings, but they tend to fall out. And you continually have to adjust them and all that stuff. So let me tell you, like I said before, I've done the whole retro, oh, I'm gonna go skate the old thing. And it's like, oh my God, that really hurts when I'm falling now. <laughs> you know, it's just, equipment's better. It just is. Well, this is cool because this is a, a Dan Wilkes board and Dan was one of my little, my little Brahms and uh, he mentions me in the tracker book saying I sold his first set of trackers, which is really? pretty cool. And he's one of the nicest people you'll ever still skates, one of the nicest people, one of the best pros from Texas, and he rode for tracker. So what I'm setting up is pretty period correct. It's tracker agros, which would have been, and uh, Sims snakes. And this will be a nice addition to the museum, which we're really excited about. So what size wheels are those? Those are probably 62s. Okay. This was in the era before the wheels became bearing covers. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's funny now, there's that extreme now where, you know, wheels have gotten a little bit bigger, the boards have gotten up from, you know, if you look at the little boards from the early 70s and the 60s, they were, you know, not very wide, so to speak. And then we got really wide where they're like turkey platters. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, now there's sort of the cool thing is people skate all kinds of stuff. I've actually become cool because I'm retro. And so people are buying reissues and retro. And so I'm a reissue. Well, you're the original issue. That's, the That's right, I'm OG. <laughs> Who happens to be my grandfather name. Oh. Yes, I'm a grandfather. Wow. Your grandfather and grandfather. That's right. Wow. And see, here's the problem that you run into sometimes is that this is drilled for new school because it's a reissue board, a very, very good reissue board, but it is drilled for new school, which for some inexplicable reason, I've never been able to get someone to give me a really good answer why the uh, holes got smaller because the base plates are the same size. Really? So I'm still trying to figure that one out. If I divine that <laughs> amazing bit of information. And tracker aggros were the idea that, okay, we're not gonna use plastic base plates anymore, but if you notice, everything is hollowed out. It's actually probably the best turning truck the tracker ever made. And it's so funny. Jeff Grosso has done that whole thing uh, about truck wars and you know everybody you know it's like anything everybody likes what they skate what they skate is the best skate right it's so funny though it's it's uh it's always been like that and see here's the conundrum see this this is built to accommodate both but this truck if you notice is old school and, and normally like if i were going to ride this i would uh have to redrill it but now since i've become new school and i ride aces instead of ancient gull wings <laughs> uh after 40 years of riding gull wings i changed last year and uh i'm not looking back they are better Again, we're conveniently located near Baylor Hospital. <laughs> bring the kids down, bring the family. It's a great fitness thing. Yeah, and if we if we ever get any trouble with the city, what we'll do is we'll become a CrossFit. Where... 
<laughs> because, you know, CrossFit is the best scam in the world. You get a bunch of old tires, some chains, some big heavy ropes. That's true, and then you say, I'm at a gym. Yeah, so now we're gonna be skate fit. <laughs> Bring your own paths, you know, that kind of thing. Which actually would be a great scam. <laughs> so there we are, kids. Wow. All set up. That's about a hundred times faster than I could have done it. <laughs> well, I used to have a skateboard shop, so <laughs> hopefully I've gotten pretty good at it. We used to get bearings though, like when they painted ball bearings, you'd get this little, you know those wax containers that are round? We would get those and this little thing of ball bearings would weigh like a hundred pounds. And then we'd get these giant bats like 50 gallon drums of sealed bearings and you know, that's the way they shipped it. When you turn screws this much uh -huh. and you put it, you know, you get pretty good at it and you get an incredibly strong grip. So see, it's, it has fitness benefits that last a lifetime. <laughs> Ignore the limp though, you know. <laughs> so, would you like me to show you how we carefully place these in the museum? Absolutely. Now we do use new technology called a cordless drill. Okay. <laughs> Many of you may not have this technology yet, but it is coming to you. God, we would have killed for a cordless drill in the skateboard shop. Is this some kind of miracle we didn't see? Precision Museum Mountain. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> your mom will be really angry when you're screwing these into the wall. <laughs> My wife is very angry when I try. <laughs> she, she would actually end my life as I know it if I tried to screw a skateboard into the wall at home. 